hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel at the last session we left at the blanking area whereby we, we had scheduled our machine and it was running we were left with 15 minutes but right now we we still have three minutes to go so here is our test which we run the blanking is about to complete uh, but there are some tests which are which are still blanking so after you have scheduled it will show you the the tests have been scheduled for blanking and here is where you'll see there like it's ex executing after executing and it will be complete the, the blanking will be complete like if you can see this test like albumin it is completed already but we have this number three test amylase this one which has showed you that the reagent is missing yeah we don't have the reagent for this now i'm going to show you how to remove such a test from the test from the list of our tests i'm going to show you how you can remove remove it from that list so let's say this amylase it's you just highlight it then you'll come here at the left right corner of that list we have six dots here you just click at that corner it will take you to recalculate the test Recal recalculate the test is just like repeating the test execute maybe let's say remove remove the test what we're going to do right now is to remove the test from the list but when they tell you to execute the test, let's say you are running the test, but by mistake it stopped. You just have to execute that test and it will continue running. Inspect is just to see how the test is, uh, like it has been done, whatever. And to move, it's, let's say you ha you are at 20 on 23rd, you have to move your test to 25th. You just highlight the test, then you come here to the move position then you move from 23rd to 25th so guys we are going to remove this amylase test from our list you just come here remove you click it then click ok and it will be removed from our list so we have another test here ggt we have to remove it also from the list since there is no reagent ok that is it we have another test here lipase it, it, the reagent is missing too this is how to when you just click there it's just like inspecting the test that way so you have highlighted the test you just come to the far corner here remove the test and just remove all the test that the reagent is missing So we have your rare it's still running we, we still have one minute to go guys let's be patient and wait okay after there we'll come to the qc from here the qc will run qc1 qc2 qc1 in qc1 we'll be doing we'll be using reagent m and qc2 will reuse reagent p okay So let's wait for the blank to finish. Then, guys, I'll show you how to do it. Just stay tuned, guys. I love you. So our test is complete. Now the machine is washing. Let's give it some time to wash. But before you continue, you have to inspect your test and see whether they are valid or invalid. So we have to come here to monitor the test. You look at the test which ones are not valid. Like let's say here we have um, albumin. Albumin at calibration level it's invalid. That one will do the control for it. It's invalid at the calibration area. We run the control for it. We have creatinine. It has expired. Like telling us that it's expired we run the control for creatinine let's move down 
We also have lipase, but lipase we don't have the reagent. Magnesium we run the control for magnesium. This one we don't have the reagent. And urea we run the control for that one. So the test which we are supposed to run the controls is just urea, creatinine, and albumin. So guys, stay tuned. Stay tuned. I'll show you how to run the controls and how to do the calibrations of the standard.